The following demonstration will show New South Wales Commercial Species Quota fishers how to submit a pre-fish day quota report using Fisher Mobile. To lodge a new pre-fish report, tap on the Activity Report icon on the home screen to access the Fishing Activity Reporting menus. If only one fishing business, the fishing activity options are automatically displayed for selection. Otherwise, from the bar on the left hand side, tap on the fishing business number containing your relevant day quota endorsement to select it. For fishers with more than one business, each fishing business number in the side banner is labelled to assist with identifying the type of business, for example multi for Estuary General. Once the fishing business is selected, the activity reports relevant to that fishing business will be displayed. At the top of this screen, fishers can identify the type of fisheries the business is endorsed for. In this example, this business contains Estuary General and you will see the fishery, e.g., displayed. Go to the Prefish Report tile and tap Create, located under Create New Prefish Report. Then select the start date for the fishing activity. The default setting is the current day's date. There is an option to submit a prefish report for tomorrow by tapping on the Tomorrow button. If submitting a prefish report for tomorrow, enter the time you intend to commence the prefish report in 24-hour format into the displayed fields. Note there is an option to delete the report by tapping on the bin icon. Now tap on the forward arrow to proceed. A confirmation message will be displayed. Read this message confirming that this pre-fishing report will deduct one day of Estuary General Meshing Region quota upon confirmation. Then tap on the confirm button. A receipt message is displayed stating that your pre-fishing report has deducted one day of quota for the fishing business and a transaction ID number. Your new available balance following the quota deduction is also displayed. Tap on the OK button to return to the home screen. If you return to the fishing activity report screen for the fishing business, you will see an active reports tile with the pre-fish report you just submitted. The pre-fish report will also show a timer which actively counts down the time left before your pre-fish report expires or is completed. When the timer reaches zero, the active report for the pre-fish report will be removed as the report is no longer active. If a reported pre-fishing activity does not eventuate for any reason, you must withdraw the pre-fish report in order to finalise the pending fishing activity report and remove the requirement of the anticipated catch and effort report. Note the pre-fish report is the only report that allows withdrawal. Please refer to the Withdraw a Submitted Pre-fish Report video on the Fish Online website. Tap on the home icon to return to the home screen. You have just viewed a demonstration on how to submit a pre-fish report for day quota using Fisher Mobile. For more video demonstrations on the functions and use of Fisher Mobile, visit the Fish Online website.